Welcome guys, this episode of Cerner Hacks, we're going to talk about errors. Now I've made tons of errors in my past and I'm going to tell you how to fix your errors that we commonly make in Cerner. So stay tuned. Alright folks, so today we're going to talk about corrections. So how do we correct mistakes that we put into Cerner? Well, depends on what type of mistake it is. So we'll go through each one and hopefully you'll take something out of this. Now that we know how to input data, we will make a lot of mistakes and that is okay because there's ways of correcting things. So let's start with the first one. So let's make a soap note. So here's our soap note. Oh, we made some mistakes there. So how do we correct this? First thing we do is we go into the view document section here. And here you can see there are notes. If you just want to add addendum, you can click into modify. What that'll do is it'll bring up a bar at the bottom where you can type in an addendum. If you want to delete the note altogether, you can go in where the X icon is and here you type in whatever you'd like to choose and click OK. So now a document says in error report. We'll close this window and when we refresh the document section, that note has now disappeared. However, due to medical legal requirements, that note is never completely deleted from the menu. If you ever want to search it again, you can go into the dark menu, documentation, and it will be in here, but uh, it'll ask the document is marked in error. So it is never really gone. So a second question I get is, once you've completed a report, how do we CC someone after it's been sent? Well, a couple of things we can do. We can print off the document itself into the nearest location and then have the unit clerk fax it. That would probably be the easiest way in the old fashioned way. The other thing you can do is you can copy this entire document again, bring it into a blank space. Then we highlight, cut it out. It'll give you this unable to load successfully. Just close it rather than refresh it. And we go into a free text note. We'll add it in by Command B or Control B, depending on if you're using a Mac or a PC. And then when we sign it off this time, we make sure the provider name is in here, this guy here, okay. And now the recipient will go to here. The family doctor whose name will appear here will automatically be CC'd. Sometimes I will add the physician just to make sure. And here we go, signing off. We can now go into the view document section here and you can see that it is copied to test Greg as well as train general med physician 31. However, now you've created two notes. What you could do now is delete the first one. So we can go into the view document section again and here we can write duplicate and now only one report will show when we refresh. Okay, so the next question I get asked is how do we discontinue power plans? So let's say this patient was admitted to hospital. We'll go into the order profile and the eMERGE doc has now added a power plan for ED pneumonia as well as ED IV fluids. We don't want the IV fluid power plan anymore. So we right click and we click discontinue. And this is the order that will be discontinued. If you want to keep it, there is a column that allows you to keep by clicking on that, but we will discontinue this one. We click OK. You can see that this appears and we'll sign. And then when we refresh, the IV fluids module is now discontinued because it's no longer bolded. The next question I get asked is what happens when you print off your discharge prescription and for some reason it doesn't get printed off or you lost it or the dog chewed it up. We can go into the order profile click into your orders menu and we go into the order section here so you can see here there were four medications prescribed we will click on and drag down and then right click and print prescription this is where you select your printer and you press OK and it will go and print again so the next issue that sometimes happens is we're into the Ramapro order here let's cancel and reorder by right clicking and let's put in five milligrams daily 
and we go into orders for signature and then the nurse says oh no the blood pressure is actually low and we don't want to make that change again so what can we do from this point you've already committed to cancelling that and we've got the reorder here but before signing off you can rescue yourself by right clicking the Ramapril and resetting the order and now we're back to the original order we saved ourselves so here's something that happens a lot when you're not paying attention say you're in the rounding tab and you're typing a bunch of stuff then you go into your quick order screen and you order something and then you go back and you accidentally press the admissions tab and you start typing in stuff here so what happens when you go to create your note Cerner won't know which one to pull in do we pull in this part in the admissions box or the rounding section where you type the original document and you'll know this when you go to refresh Cerner does not know which one to pull in it says pending data exists which will be lost do you want to cancel the changes or continue to refresh at this point we do not want to refresh because we want to save the proper one which one that will Cerner keep I don't really have a great idea of which one they keep so I copy the one that I want to keep let's say I want to keep the original document I will highlight it we'll cut it it says the page was unable to load successfully click close do not click refresh click close it will now go into your temporary memo pad we will refresh the entire page here and now we do want to cancel changes and refresh in my rounding section remember it was the AAA in the admissions tab it was the BBB neither in here now we wanted to put it back into this section here and we will paste and here's my original document again if you've got multiple fields here that you've entered data and you're not sure which one will keep best thing to do is to paste into a word document or a notebook or somewhere that's on another program so you can actually copy so this is the copy function and then paste it into the outside Cerner application and refresh the screen and paste it back into Cerner that way you'll know that you kept all the information and it was on another document our app make sure you delete that information once you are completed importing it over we don't want patient information floating out in space and one last tip here, if you're in your order screen and you want to discontinue medications, just remind yourself that you can click the checkboxes here to discontinue medications and sign them off. This I find is the easiest way to discontinue medications. Orders for signature, and you can see that these now are processing. When we refresh the screen, those ones will be gone.